Yeah, thank you so much. Another Toronto school is reportedly dealing with a COVID-19 outbreak, and we are standing by live at this school right now. We're talking about Upper Canada College in the Young and St. Clair area. According to the CBC, this all boils private school has temporarily closed doors after at least 10 people testing positive for the virus this month. And those cases involve students in grades 4, 8, 9, and 12. The school says these cases are a result of community transmission, but so far no word yet if anyone has tested positive for a variant of concern. Testing is expected to take place today and tomorrow. Well, according to the Ontario Hospital Association, we are now in a third wave of this COVID-19 pandemic. But Ontario's top doctor says not yet. The modelers are looking at to say that we could be going into a third wave. We have to see we're in this dip and coming up. Is it a slight undulation? Is it a large wave? Is it a moderate wave? To be determined. The OHA says rising ICU numbers and new data indicating that COVID variants now account for nearly half of reported cases is evidence that a third wave is here. And while there is no official declaration from the Ontario government, health officials support the OHA's call for strong adherence to public health measures to prevent overwhelming hospitals. Let's talk about vaccines now. Delivery is ramping up in Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is encouraging everyone to roll up their sleeves. The best vaccine for you to take is the very first one that is offered to you. And for many Canadians, that could mean the AstraZeneca vaccine. A senior government source confirming to City News that Canada's vaccine expert panel is expected to reverse its guidelines today, now approving AstraZeneca for seniors 65 and older. Several countries suspended the use of AstraZeneca over fears that it can cause blood clots. Canada says our vaccine is safe because it came from a different batch than the European vaccines. This morning, Australia announcing that they too will continue to administer AstraZeneca. Safety is our first priority. Uh, and in any large vaccine rollout, we do expect to see um, uh, uh, unusual events and we monitor very closely and carefully for those. I can absolutely say that I remain confident in the AstraZeneca vaccine, uh, that it's safe uh, and that there is at this point no uh, evidence that it causes blood clots. The majority of Australia's 25 million people will be getting the AstraZeneca vaccine and authorities have secured nearly 54 million doses. Yesterday, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Portugal and Cyprus joining several other European nations in temporarily suspending the AstraZeneca shot. The World Health Organization confirming it is still conducting its safety review of this vaccine. They're going to be meeting again today. And Thailand was one of the first countries to suspend the use of AstraZeneca, but has since reversed its decision. This morning, Thailand's Prime Minister stepping up to be the country's first person to get the shot. Thailand plans to make the AstraZeneca doses domestically, but that's not going to be happening until at least June. Now, a new poll that's out suggesting most Canadians aren't picky when it comes to choosing a COVID-19 vaccine. And this online poll done by Leger and the Association for Canadian Studies showing 51% of respondents will take any of the four currently approved by Health Canada, but about 25% said they're going to wait to get a shot that they'd prefer. Over 1,500 Canadians polled. It was from March 12th to the 14th. Because it was done online, it cannot be given a margin of error. All right, how about this? After Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's explosive interview with Oprah, it appears most Canadians think our country should ditch the royal monarchy. So this poll done by Leger, finding 53% of Canadians think we should abandon the monarchy, with just one-third saying we should preserve this part of our heritage. 59% surveyed say they sympathized with Harry and Meghan, 26% siding with the royal family. This online poll, just over 1,500 Canadians. Again, with these online polls that we're seeing, we can't see a margin of error on them because they were done online. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we have got a lot to cover on today's show this morning, including a chat with Will & Grace star Eric McCormick. That's going to be incredible. Always a big fan of his. And also coming up next in business, we're talking about record highs in Canada's real estate market. 680 News senior business editor Mike Apple, he... It's coming up with all of those numbers and details next.